This is a story from Pune. A young girl had lodged a complaint of harassment against her ex-boyfriend. She said he was threatening her that if she doesn't come back to him, he'll upload videos of, her, of, them, of them making love. boy was checked, no video was found but he was straightened up and she was sent back. He was asked not to trouble her again. Six months after that, she was found dead in her house. The autopsy said raped and strangled. The immediate first suspect was her ex-boyfriend, Gotham. They went to Gotham's house and they found out that Gotham had passed away more than two and a half months back due to poisoning. Now this was turning into a wild goose chase. We checked Gotham's house. In that house we found a CD. We played it. It was, it was a video of him and Pooja making love. I was getting a dirty feeling that he might have just done what he was threatening her to do. He might have uploaded it. We checked all kinds of websites. There was one particular website that had the video. Now, I didn't know what to do. I, it was a, a cybercrime. We got our experts on board. We tried to check who had uploaded it, but we, we couldn't, couldn't find the, the person. We couldn't find the IP address it was uploaded from. I felt like there was a third person involved. It was all too, too perfect. We waited, it became a, a cyber crime, we had to sit on it and wait and see if anybody was making a mistake. Someone did. A couple of months later, there was a comment on that video. Someone had written, what a slut she was. Was. Whoever it was knew she was dead. We tried to tag the, the IP address of, of that comment. And we did. Guess where it led us? to Gotham's former office. It was not only Gotham's former office, it was also Pooja's former office. On further investigation, we found out that there were only two people working in the IT department of the office. One of them being Gotham. It was narrow enough. The other guy's name was Ramesh. But now I'd, I'd had enough. I, I was not up for a conversation. I just called Ramesh out and I took him to the dark. We spoke for the most part, and there was lights, ice, sticks. In a few hours, Ramesh cracked. He said he had done it. Why? Because he was madly in love with Pooja. He was in love with Pooja and he couldn't handle the fact that she, she gave him nothing. She didn't like him, she didn't talk to him. What pissed him off even more was that Gotham, his fellow, his fellow, his, his fellow IT department person, his, his colleague, got Pooja. Ramesh couldn't handle it. Ramesh also secretly used to, used to hack into, hack into Gotham's computer and, and go through his stuff. That's where he had found the, the tape, the lovemaking tape. When Gotham sensed that Pooja and, and Gotham were having a... The plan was, was complicated to say the least. He started giving Pooja and Gotham thallium. More commonly known as the, the, the poisoner's poison. It's a drug that can lead to several Ill illnesses that can lead to death. As soon as he found out that Pooja had made a complaint against Gotham, he started increasing the thallium in Gotham's food and drinks. Gotham passed away. Now his, his way was clear. He wanted to stop poisoning Pooja. He wanted to go, go back to her. He 
which he did, he turned up at her house one day and said, I'm sorry, I've been giving you thallium, but what a fool. He told her he was poisoning her. He told her he loved her and he, he wanted her to, to be with him. He almost went on to her. She, she absolutely resisted. He lost it. He strangled her. He raped her. raped her, he strangled her, he raped her again. He basically killed her. And he left. He thought it was a, a perfect sort of a plan. It wasn't smart enough, you see. A true crime is one that leaves behind evidence. We took Ramesh in. Today, Ramesh is serving term in prison. He's been given life imprisonment. To reduce his punishment, he's offered the, all the inmates that he'd, he'd teach them IT, information technology. Poor Ramesh. If love wouldn't have come in his way, he would have been a successful person.